Before we jump into today's video, I want to say thank you to the sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. Utilize Squarespace email campaigns to drive sales and engage your audience. Introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, announce upcoming sales, or send out a discount code. There are built-in analytics to measure the impact of each send. They have such flexible website templates, it's so easy to get started by choosing a template and then customizing it to look and do whatever it is you need or want. And a huge help is their analytics system that I mentioned earlier. This is where you can gather and use all kinds of insights to aid in helping to grow your businesses. So you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash Olivia Rizzolatte to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the vlog. Hey, hi, what's up? Today I decided to embark on the mission of tracking how much I read in a week, realistically. And what you're about to see is the found footage of this event. Good luck and see you on the other side, brother. Hello everybody. So intro me gave you a little bit of a synopsis of what this video is going to be. I wanted to do kind of also an intro to the day because this is going to be like a weekly reading vlog, I guess, which I haven't done in a while. So we're back for this. Um, but I have seen so many people doing these, what I read in a week, realistic, how much I read in a week. And I wanted to do it as well, but I want to preface with this is not a typical week for me. Um, if you watched my weekly vlog that went up either this past Tuesday or the previous, I can't remember. I'll link it up somewhere here. We had to, um, put my like childhood dog to sleep. So I am in a very much like a scuffy mood, which usually ends in me reading a lot. And I wanted to give myself something to do just to kind of like take my mind off of things and be able to like still talk about what I'm reading. Cause what I don't want to do is what I have done in the past when things are stressful or rough is I read a bunch, but I don't really retain everything. And I do enjoy the books, but because of where I'm at mentally and just things going on, I don't always remember everything as much as I'd like to. And when I vlog, I, I know it might be weird to some people that I'm choosing to do this while this is going on in the background of my life, but it really helps helps me and it helps to talk about it. Exactly, Ginger. She loves to talk. Let's, she'll make that known. But anywho, it is helpful. I like it, but we are going to now with that preface, um, are you done? Are you quite done? We're going to get into just the reading of this. So I don't really have any goals. I just want to, I mean, actually that's not true. My main goal is I really want to prioritize reading over the next seven days instead of other hob, not hobbies, but forms of entertainment. Like I don't really want to just keep watching YouTube videos and keep watching TV because well, I'm not really watching TV, but I am watching YouTube videos and I'm not really enjoying them, but I'm just doing them because I don't know what else to do. And and with reading, it takes me like an hour or so of reading to like really sink into it and get into it. And I'm not in the middle of any books that are like gripping my attention. But I have one that we're gonna start out with that has quite the potential, I think, for me. So I love fantasy. Fantasy is probably my favorite genre of all time. If I had to pick one, it'd be fantasy. Diving further into that, I love fantasy romance. I will say my preferred thing is a fantasy that has fantasy romance aspect, like subplot to it. That's maybe a little bit more than a typical fantasy would have, but nothing it's not the forefront. So think Aka War, not Akatar. Although I have a lot to say about Aka War, <laughs> which I will be doing a reread with those. Let's all manifest that my little sister gets on on it quickly, finishes up Twisted Love so that we can read Aka War together or Akatar, the whole series. I'm very excited for that. And with the new book coming out in January next year, we got to get ready, but on task, on task task. Although before we get on task, I do have to say the reason that I am not, I could adjust this light. I have a sty and it's quite literally taking over my eye. So I, I turned up the brightness a little bit so that hopefully you can't see it. Cause like heaven's gates are right here and they're bright. So can't see it as well. On this side, it's fine. Who is she? On this side, it's like, I literally can't tell 
who is she? It's so like washed out. My favorite way to be with this style thing going on, but the book is Slaying the Vampire Conqueror. I am, let's see, this is by Carissa Broadbent. She is currently like on my radar as my favorite fantasy romance writer right now. Sarah Janet, I feel like it's fair to say she's earned her spot gonna be there for a while. Uh, the Plated Prisoner series is up there for me. I actually would like to read the latest book in that. I believe it's Glow and Gold comes out soon. So I'd like to read that. I'm really enjoying that. If you want a slow burn, if you like my kind of slow burn, like 700 page book and then kiss on page like 645, I'm gonna have to recommend the Plated Prisoner series to you. So far today, I have got to chapter 10 page 75. I'm 18% in. I am enjoying this. Actually, I do know that this is a standalone that takes place within the world that is the Serpents of Wings and Night, ma'am, which is a book I want to read within this week because at the end of next week, I'm doing a readathon with my patrons. So I will be hopefully reading that. Um, actually, maybe I won't, I don't know. Maybe we'll read it. it, it depends. But I feel like this is gonna be a very fantasy heavy reading vlog situation. But this is within that world. I think it has more to do with maybe the lore. I don't know, but I'm kind of excited to read this where there's like some backstory, but I don't know, you know, the front story. I don't really know where I was going with that. Anyways, let's get to the plot. So what I know is our main character is a part of this. To me, it seems like a coven kind of thing of seers who they take out their eyes I don't know physically, but like chemically. And they wear like the little thingy and they can see, and she can still see, but it's like through tethers and things like that, which do I fully understand it? No, but honestly, it's a vibe. And then he is the vampire conqueror and he's a vampire, hello. I am very much back into my vampire, do we say the word? Do we dare? Era? I really am though, because I, I've always loved vampires, always have. I'm glad they're making a comeback in the fantasy genre instead of like a contemporary like paranormal romance. This is more of like a fantasy romance that has a vampire into it. But she has to infiltrate his world to slay him, slay queen. And it's um, obviously probably not gonna go well. It is a standalone, although it's one of those series that it's multiple writers who are each writing their own book within this series. And I don't know if they all tie together, but they're all like slaying the vampire conqueror, slaying the shifter king or something. I also got that one because it's by Claire Sager and I want to read Kiss of Iron, I think it is. So yeah, I have a lot of fantasy romance downloaded. That might be what we're doing this week, but for now, I'm gonna get back to this. And I'm also gonna try to keep track of how many pages I've read. So at this current point, I have read 75 pages and I think we're off to a good start. I like to try to read around 100 pages a day, but I don't set myself up for a certain goal. Although I do wonder if that would help, if I should do that. Um, but I'm in a very, very much, I still call this physical reading, but I know it's not a physical book. Kindle reading mood, not really an audiobook mood, so this week is probably gonna be how much I physically read within a week. And how many times Ginger tries to interrupt this vlog screaming to be let outside, despite the fact that it is 107 degrees. As soon as she gets out there, she would be like, take me back. And yet, let's get started. There's the tiny terror. Oh, oh okay, you're done? Okay, so I have been reading for about an hour. It's a little less than an hour. I had a one of my little reading sprint timer things going and there's nine minutes left on it. So, nine minutes. So it'll be an hour once that nine minutes finishes. So about 50 minutes of reading. I am on 37%. I made it to chapter 20. I don't know how many pages that is though. I didn't check that. It's 158. So I've read almost 100 pages. It's not bad, not bad. Started at 75 at 158 now. Yeah, it's like 80 pages. It's like 75. I don't know. What we're not gonna do is math. I'm getting a little sleepy. Um, so I think I'm going to make a midday matcha. Actually, I'm gonna go take a shower to wake myself up. And then I'm gonna have a midday matcha. I'm gonna listen to my little podcast and then we will get back in to some reading. I may switch up where I'm reading. It's kind of cold out here. So I might go light 
like a leaves candle. Open the windows in the bedroom, read in there. That sounds well, nice and cozy. I cannot read in the same spot for a super long time. I have to like lay on my back then my stomach, then my side, then my other side. It's a lot of that. I do prefer to read sitting up, but I have to have like some kind of back support because I tend to go into a very bad back posture. So I'm probably gonna read on my stomach or I'll just prop all the pillows up <laughs> in the bedroom so I can drink my matcha and read at the same time. But let's stop talking about it and let's start doing it. What are you doing over there? <laughs> this has nothing to do with how much I read in a week, but it does have to do with how much I think about Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I remember when I first found the bookish side of the internet, the rabbit hole I went down was Beauty and the Beast retellings and it will forever be my kryptonite. It is just, and I don't even think this was a reference. I don't even think this was a reference. I think Miss Carissa has no idea I put this together. But our main character is a human. He's a vampire. He doesn't know what she eats. His like army people are like getting her food and whatnot and they just view all food the same. And apparently her stomach is hurting. Like she's having acid reflux too because all she's eating is oranges because that's all they're getting her currently. And he's like, what's wrong with you? You're acting strange, stranger than usual. <laughs> and she like snaps at him is like, stop telling, tell him to stop feeding me freaking buckets of oranges and then like stomps off. And I don't know why that just reminded me of like like the reverse of the reaction that Belle had whenever he's like, dinner's ready. And she's like, I'm not hungry. He's like, go ahead and starve. It's like the opposite reactions from each party, but it still reminded me of that because at the end of the night, they brought her a beautifully roasted kale. Quail, kale, thrown of the glass. I love that series. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna go mix some more matcha powder into my, uh, I think I'm gonna go mix some more matcha into my latte. I think I put a little too much oat milk and a little too not enough matcha. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm still just reading. Just living life and loving this book. Yes. Hello, friends. Okay, so um, it's me and Stanley. I don't know why I'm bringing him up. Let me turn my little ambiance room down you can see the microphone because <laughs> the light is over there i just looked right into it now nah, i can't really see okay so i finished let me get out my goodreads because we'll actually update it while we chat so i ended up finishing what is it called um playing the vampire conqueror and i will be able to tell you in a little bit how long i have like technically been focusing today which i use an app called flora to track how much i'm reading like i do sprints or whatever on that so so I've been doing it for almost six hours today of reading, which is really good. That is not my norm, but to be honest with you, it probably could be. I just don't focus <laughs> on it, which that's kind of like the whole point of this is I also want to use this to develop like a new routine where I actually prioritize reading, you know? Um, so I finished The Vampire Conqueror and that was 450 pages in a day. Not bad. I think I'm gonna put it as a five star on Goodreads. It's not like an automatic five star, but it's so close to one. It's a very, very strong four point like seven five, which I'm not rating books as much, but to me, the fact that I'm like debating giving it a five this much tells me that it probably is because if it wasn't, I wouldn't even think about it, which maybe that's the opposite for some people, but I am. Who knows? So the next book that I have is called The Scepter and I'll put it up the cover right there because this is not coming up right now. But this one is only 88 pages long and then there's another one. These are two prequels. I'll put everything up here that I'm talking about. 
So the two prequels that I downloaded are part of the Mortal Fates series, I believe it's called. And the first one is The Scepter, the second one is The Sword, and then the book I want to read for it is The Crown of Oaths and Curses. So I have to read those two, Scepter and Sword, to unlock Oaths and Curses, which is fine by me. We open this book up to like gorgeous art right off the bat, which one of the reasons why I, so this is this is where I'm starting to realize I lean. I prefer traditionally published fantasy, but uh, what is the other one? Not traditionally published, indie published, I suppose, fantasy romance. Because I feel like publishing doesn't actually understand fantasy romance. And the fact that it is a subgenre that has specific tropes and things for it that people enjoy. And sometimes I can see where books that are published as fantasy definitely could be fantasy romance. And it almost seems like things were taken out of it. That's my tinfoil hat conspiracy speculation. I'm gonna read the scepter. It's 88 pages though. So I may read that tonight, but I'm also, we're going to go grab the next book that I want to read, which is City of Gods and Monsters. So let's go grab it really quick and then we'll talk about it. We're going on a trip to my favorite bookshelf. It really is so pretty though, isn't it? Okay. <gasps> oh dear. That's going to be a problem. Here's the other one I'm really debating, but we'll see. For now, it is this. Okay, let's change the angle up a little bit. Moisturize, did someone on TikTok call it slugging or something? I don't know. I don't know if I wanna call it that for myself, but I did moisturize heavily. I always do though, I always do. I just wanna have moisturized gun. Oh, Jake is on the move, which is not great. Oh, well, my tripod is on the bed. Hmm, there's a lot of movements going on with the kids. Okay, so this is the next book that I want to read. I am so glad that I have this physically. First of all, it's a floppy one. It's a little less floppy than my ideal floppy book would be. It's a little stiffer, but I'm pretty sure that's solely because it is a um, indie published book. But this is the first book in a House of Devils series. And the back says, death is only the beginning. And the front tagline, when a devil is hunting you, there's nowhere you can hide. Okay but I've heard this claimed as so close to House of Earth and Blood and everything about this is great except for the like main character. Apparently she's like too perfect and I have never been known to hate a Mary Sue. That don't bother me at all. I do not care, not a hoot, not a holler. It does not matter to me, not one bit. I don't care if the main characters are too perfect. Sometimes, honestly, a main character being perfect is perfect 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 because then i'm not like oh, doing like come on we could very easily not be in this situation if you just were smart and when they are perfect and they know every situation you know act to do then i don't have to worry about it so that's great but we will see we will see what i think about this Is this cover i mean if my camera would focus you would understand that this cover is beautiful like look at that but this this is the problem with KU. They have such pretty covers. I'm like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? And then you see like the new Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom covers that actual publishers are putting out. And I'm like, maybe y'all should not turn your nose up at Indie Publish and you should ask them for some tips because the way that I download so many of these books, even though I'm like, mm, I'm surely not gonna like that. It's because of the covers. I'm willing to give it a chance because it's pretty. <laughs> what? Anyhow. I'm going to start this one, just kind of get a feel for it, see where we're at, and then I'll probably end up reading The Scepter because it's only 88 pages. Um, but all of that to say, I have read, what did I say, 426 pages today? And if I start The Scepter, we're finishing that tonight because it's only nine o'clock. That'll probably take me like an hour and 20 to finish. So I read 452 with Slaying the Vampire Conqueror. And then another 88 with the Scepter would put me at 540 pages today. And it would put me at finishing one full length novel and then one novella. That's pretty nice. And then this is probably gonna take me at least two days. Mm, how sad am I? I'm pretty sad. 727 pages. Beep, 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 beep. I didn't really pay attention to math class. I was really good at algebra, but not good at subtraction. Mm. Yeah, I could probably do this in like two days and then like a little bit like the epilogue 
the beginning of the next day. I don't really read epilogues though, but I will for this because I should. So, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go. Let's go read my little novella. Hello guys, so I am just about getting ready to, oh my god, the door opened, it scared me, um, go to the movies. We're seeing Oppenheimer and Barbie back to back, a little double feature if you will, and I'm very excited for it, but I did not update you yesterday on what I read, so on Friday night, what I read, I started and finished Slaying the Vampire Conqueror, we're back to that, then on Saturday, I read and finished The Scepter, which was 88 pages by Jay Bree and then I started the sword I read about a 10 pages but I'm not gonna count it I'm probably gonna restart it because I'm not gonna read that yet I've moved on to some other things for now so it's now Sunday and I would say that I've read about like five almost 600 pages in the last three days which is really good for me that's not my norm don't want to I don't want to create any false a tease here but I did just get a series that I really want to read which is this however Last night, I started my reread of Akatar because my sister's reading it for the first time and I'm, I cannot, I think this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm reading that physically and then on my Kindle, I am reading Legend. So last night, I guess actually I read the 88 pages and then Legend, I'm 20% into. So I would say just, we're just gonna say 100 pages. I just read 100 pages. That's probably lowballing it, but that's fine. And then today I have not read anything yet because we just went to Starbucks and now we're gonna go to the movies but I am gonna bring Akatar and I'm gonna bring my Kindle with me to the movies because at all times even if there is no chance of me reading I will have options and there is a chance because there is time between each movie and before because I always get everywhere I need to go too early because if I am early I'm on time if I'm late I am dead that's how that is but I do really really want to read this trilogy that I just got and these copies are so flop gorgeous that this might be happening this this might be occurring. I don't know yet. We will see. But for now, um, I don't have any reading updates. I have not started my reading day, you could say. But we are downing this and we're getting started. So let's go get our stuff, head to the theater and chug this. Here I am once again with a late update. This is going super well, but honestly, kind of it is because this is very realistic to my life. So let's talk about the reading updates. I've just updated the weekly vlog, so it's fresh on the noggin. How many books I'm in the freaking middle of. So the last half of this is just gonna be making our way through these books, okay? So yesterday, I do not recall exactly how many pages I read of The Naturals, but I was on page 93, and currently it's, so I read 71 pages yesterday. 71 pages yesterday for that, and then 40, two so let's do some quick math 113 pages i read 113 pages yesterday not too bad so i like that it's showing honestly more realistic of my days because i think what was it on friday i read like 600 and then on what did i say saturday was not much and then yesterday was like 113 goal i suppose if i were to really be tracking how much i read page wise i think 100 pages is like what I would tend to read because I read about an hour before bed and right now I'm currently reading Killer Instinct which is a YA series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She also wrote The Inheritance Games if you are familiar with that one but this is the Naturals series and it's basically YA criminal minds. Very very good, loving it a lot but this is like really easy to read as well as A Court of Thorns and Roses, super easy to read. So these books are very easy to read, which means I would read more of them. I've also already read A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is my fourth read of this. So I'm always naturally gonna read faster on rereads. I am looking for very specific things to tab, so it's a little slower, but not really. This writing style is very easy to digest, which I love. I am not, I'm not incredibly picky with writing styles. I, I kind of love anything, except when there is like no usage of commas or there's too many. That's the only one where I'm like, good Lord, did you take a breath while typing this? 
because I didn't take one while reading this. I let out a breath, I didn't know I was holding it. So with that being said, today, Mondays are my editing days, although I'm trying to change those to Sundays just to do like my final review of the video and upload it to Patreon, all that good stuff. So today was an editing day though, because that's my goal for this coming week. And we'll see how that goes. I have finished editing, early access is up. I'm officially like off my computer for right now. Now is gonna be all of filming and that kind of thing. And for now, I'm going to eat some lunch. I got some veggie sushi from Whole Foods. I'm really excited about it, it's my favorite. And I'm going to read those two books I mentioned. I think I'm going to force myself to finish at least one of these before we venture out to something else. I'm really enjoying the natural series. It may be a case of I don't finish what I'm reading on my currently reading aside from Killer Instinct because I have the two other books, the third and the fourth one checked out from the library. And those holds obviously are not forever like the books that I own. And then I will be reading more of A Court of Thorns and Roses because I wanna keep up with my sister who is reading it for the first time, which is so exciting. When she texted me, she's already on chapter six. I was like, okay, so we're moving swiftly. But then reading this, I'm on chapter five, rereading this, it is such an easy read. Like I just remember this book coming out. When did this come out? Let me check, let me check on it. 2015. I remember this coming out. Was it the same year of as Queen of Shadows or was Queen of Shadows the following? I don't remember, but I do remember that I finished Air of Fire. I want to say that I was highly anticipating Queen of Shadows when I found out that she was writing a new series. That's a Beauty and the Beast retelling one. I tell y'all, I lost it. I was like, go ahead, bring it on in. Bring it on in. And I read this so quickly. This was one of the first books that I pre-ordered because I was just like, oh yeah, this is for me. And now, listen, gotta say it, Sarah Janet is the comfort read for me. I just, I just love it. And I also love seeing, I know the girls don't like her, that's fine, have your opinions. I love seeing Nesta now to comparing her in my head to what I recall from Silver Flames because I just, listen, I am a Nesta girl. I'm an all of them girl, to be honest. I love character growth and change. I love characters changing in book and how we can see that because you can see like how they used to handle things versus how they are now. It's just, I think, I think people changing is so beautiful. I think it's so cool. I love seeing it happen. I love, you know, when they're given the space to do that. And I think in Sarah Janet books, that tends to happen for the worse or the better, either way can happen. But I also, I, I love a redemption art. I love change. I love character growth. I just love it all. Throne of Glass, I think has some of the best, but I'm also biased because that is my favorite fantasy series of all time. And I also am thinking about kicking back into my Empire of Storms Tower of Dawn tandem read, which I've never done before. I've never read Tower of Dawn. I know it's a scandal, let's not talk about it, um, but I am thinking about it too. And reading this makes me want to do it more. But for now, we're going to focus on just these two and my sushi. So let's go. Hey, so I did finish my book last night. Let's get some math going on it. Uh, I finished Killer Instinct, which is the second book in the Naturals series by Miss Bonds. Jennifer Lynn Bonds. So I read 249 pages yesterday, but I also started this one and I am 81 pages into this one. So I read um, 330 pages yesterday. I did not read any more of Akatar. Um, I just kind of stuck to the Naturals series. So I would say is a little bit more on par with my typical reading. Now, see, this is why I wish sometimes like I was into shorter books. Um, like 330 pages is the typical length of like a good rom-com. So I do wish, or The Cruel Prince, you know, like old school YA, why are we not doing those still? Books don't always have to be long. Can we tell people that? Are they gonna listen? Probably not, it's publishing. They don't, spoiler. I read 
more of those, I could be reading a book a day. But the books I tend to lean towards are typically genres are fantasy, if not fantasy romance, sometimes, you know, a little thriller mystery action of the YA variety. Basically, I end up reading the majority of a book, finishing it, and then starting a new one. Like that's, so I typically read three to four books a week if I am like focusing. And I guess I was thinking last night, cause I'm also aware that 330 pages is not realistic for everybody in the world. But I think to put it in perspective, I haven't listened to any audiobooks so far this week. So that's kind of crazy, but I do typically listen to that. So I'd be reading more than I am now, but I don't have a commute yet. I'm not reading as much, but this is my like entertainment. I don't really watch TV and the TV I do watch is Good Omens and Murders in the Building. Those are the two that I am caring about right now and they're coming out weekly and they're not even starting yet. I also can multitask while watching TV, but only when I'm rewatching, not really when I'm watching for the first time, but I, don't watch TV. I go to the movies once a week. That's, well, not once a week, but well, I try to because we have the AMC Stubbs thing with, you know, Nicole Kidman, she sold it to me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, her, her suit was very shiny in person, but we try to go and I go like, you know, do, do other things. But the main thing that I do to like, relax is not like playing video games or puzzles or anything like that. And if I do puzzles or painting my numbers or anything like that, or if I am on my Switch, I have an audiobook on. My main form of entertainment and my main pastime is reading, which is why I read so much. I think if you were to do this, but with someone who watches a lot of TV, it'd be the same thing. I'd be, my, my mind would be boggled at how much TV people can watch because I don't do that regularly. So I'm not, I don't know. I will say, I guess that this takes a different amount of effort because to watch TV, you still have to pay attention and be analyzing and, you know, analyzing the scenes and all of those things. I don't think it's all that different. It's just different mediums, but let's not start that conversation. Sometimes the girls get upset about audiobooks versus physical books. I don't even know what they do if I insinuated that watching television can have some of the same things. I don't want to go down that route, but I do, I do, I do think it and I'll fight you about it. I just, I just want people to not feel bad if they don't read this much or I don't feel bad if people, I know people read way more than me. I have people I follow that are on like book 250 already of this year. And you know, one of my best friends reads so much more than me. Like she reads double, if not triple more than me. And I think it really just comes down to finding a routine that you like. But honestly, what I've had to do, especially because I will acknowledge that being on like bookish sides of YouTube, which is really all I'm on right now, but I've been on book Instagram, book Twitter, book talk, you know, all the things. There is a lot of pressure to read in mass. Your quantity is higher than the quality. And I have gotten away from that a lot. And I encourage you to do the same because it doesn't matter how many books you read a year. It matters how many read that you're like, oh my God, I loved that. Or you just liked the experience, even if the book was awful, you know? So I, sometimes I read 16 books in a month. Sometimes I read six. And you know what I don't do? care because it's whatever like I'm, I'm still reading I'm doing what I enjoy and I think that we should reframe and focus on that that you're still enjoying what you're doing instead of oh I need to do because if you were like watching a tv show or a movie series or something and you know you were just putting it on so that you could have it done and not actually paying attention you wouldn't like that either then it's just background noise and I think that that can very easily be what happens to books as they become background noise because you're just like you're doing the act but you're not enjoying it so just make sure you enjoy it, dang it. But I have my coffee. I'm gonna get some editing done on this vlog, editing done on my other vlog, and then I'm gonna get back to reading and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. Hello, hello. So it is the end of the week. We are now starting, well, see, it's so confusing to me because this is Friday, so it's not the end of the week, but it's the end of when we started filming this. And I finished off the entirety of Bad Blood yesterday. I cannot remember if I read a lot of it the previous day um, on Wednesday before really getting into it Thursday because I kind of just read the whole thing yesterday to be honest. I think maybe I had, I was 50 pages in so I really read like 320 something pages yesterday and it was great. My brain is tired which is why I think it's a fantastic idea for me to go into a 24 hour readathon right now <laughs> which is what I'm about to start doing and filming but I think that this was a pretty successful week
the director is taking some creative freedoms and I am not following the vision. I think it was a successful week. I kind of want to do another reading. This was more of just like a reading tracking thing. I want to do a reading challenge. So if you guys have any you'd like me to do, you'd like to see. I've been thinking about doing that 5 a.m. wake up every day. Um, I think that I will be so annoying and miserable the rest of the day, but I won't film that. I'll just film me reading because I love waking up early. It's just once I hit that 3 p.m. We're just gonna have to plan on that being a midday matcha week, truly. And I also want to do like reading 200 pages a day, see how that goes. I don't know, whatever ones you have, whatever ones you've seen around, whatever ones you know you've thought up, let me know, comment them down below. The emoji for today is gonna be a red heart to match the cover of our final book. And that is all from me. Make sure that you drink your water, stay hydrated, be kind, it is free 99 and have a good day on purpose. I'll see you later. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.